it's difficult to find good food, especially on a budget. It's difficult to find healthy food in general. And if you really want to take the time to, uh, you know, begin to either lose weight or to or, or to live that healthy life, and you watch some documentaries on Netflix about. Um, you know, where your food comes from and how it's processed, how it's made, you kind of get a little nervous, you kind of get a little scared uh, about eating uh, something that you really don't know where it's from or how it was produced. My name is Brandon and I'm the co-founder of FreshCon. At FreshCon, we believe that everyone deserves to live their healthiest life through better access to local uh, nutrient-dense food. Local food is extremely important to me. Um, believe it or not, I'm, I'm sort of a foodie convert in a way. It, I, I didn't really know where my food came from for, for the majority of my life. And, you know, growing up, food was food. You got, it, you got it from the grocery store, you brought it home. You know, tomatoes, it should taste like water. <laughs> they shouldn't be red all the way through. It never occurred to me that food grew on farms. It took me a while, I had to have my eyes opened up to the fact that, hey, your food is grown from a farmer, but you should pay attention to, you know, to where it's grown and how it's grown and what it's eating, right? You know, what we are what we eat, but we're also what our, our food eats. You know, there's no face to factory farming. There's a brand, there's a really large brand that, that They've spent millions and millions of dollars perfecting. But when you're at Cook's, uh, 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 Cook's uh, uh, Family Farm in uh, Brentham, Mass, and you meet Nate over there, who is an incredible 11th generation farmer. I mean, their farm was, was founded in 1705 off of a King's Grant. But these farmers, man, they're just incredible. The food tastes amazing. You can't go wrong at all. And that's, and that's why I love local food. It's the people, it's the taste, it's the quality, and it's, it's the story of, of food that makes it all worthwhile. There are many challenges in today's local food system, namely access, right? There are thousands of farms all around us, and there are hundreds of farmers markets in New England, and there's thousands of farmers markets throughout the country. The problem is many people can't get to the farmers market because they um, are working full time, or they just you know have zero time throughout the day, and it's very difficult to go out and get real food that is grown locally. Um, and so you know that's a huge challenge. There's you know transportation issue. There is um, you know, th there's no uh, there's no shortage of demand, but you know, supply can be an issue, especially when there's uh, seasons that change regularly in New England. Uh, you have, you know, a roughly six to eight month season, and then it, you know it gets to uh, you know pretty bare on a lot of veggies or different things like like that that people are used to having throughout the summer times. Um, so that that's a huge challenge in New England. There's a lot of you know different issues when it comes to to the local food system uh, that need to be addressed. But we believe the main ones are access. The the farms are there, you know, the demand is there, but it's difficult to meet that demand if customers have to go and search for that farm, have to go to the farm, have to go to the farmers market, and in today's very you know, uh, a fast paced 140 or so characters, uh, you know, a culture, we want access to local food, something that takes a long time to produce, something that is a little bit slower, but we, we want it now. And I think that, um, you know, and I believe that, you know, that is where FreshCon comes in because what we do is we create this marketplace that aggregates thousands of farmers markets and tens of thousands of farms at your fingertips uh, to where you can search for your farmers market that's in your area it is geolocated it'll pop up all the farmers markets that are located near you and you can search or you can click on the farmers market buy some items uh, add them to your cart and then check out and then we have a huge dr uh, a drivers network that actually delivers all of the 
local food uh, to your door or to your office. Or if you really want to get to the farmer's market but don't have time to sit there and mingle or, or you want to skip the line, you can, you can actually pick up as well.